so today we will see how we can update our packages here so right now i'm in a uh, project here you can see so some of these packages are actually outdated and we need to actually update those packages so we will see two different ways to do that we will see how you can update your package using npm cli and another way is how you can do that with a third party package so both are uh, pretty good uh, ways to do that and we will see how we can do that so let's start with npm cli so first of all uh, right now i'm in a project and to update those first of all i will open up my terminal and here right now i'm in the project directory and here i will actually first of all install everything and whatever i have here i can see some of the issues already so these issues are actually from uh, my outdated packages so we need to actually fix that so to get all the list of outdated packages you can actually run npm outdated so if you run npm outdated you will get this list where you will see all the outdated package so the current version the wanted and the latest version you can see here so here uh, before we go further let's actually first of all um, let me clear up this version number so right now you can see uh, in every version number you will see this format these three numbers so these three numbers represents the last one you can see from the right side the last one represent the patch updates this one represents the minor updates and this one the left one represents the major updates so it is basically like major minor and the patch so let's say that uh, if it is a version number you can see this three means this is a patch change or patch version number and this one is the minor version number and this one is the major version number so once we get that now let's come here and let's update this package so from these version numbers the current wanted and the latest you need to identify which is a patch update and which is a minor update and which is major update so first of all this one you can see this is a this is a patch update you can see the third one we need to just update this third one so which means this is a patch update and if i come here and like this one uh this one this one is actually major you can see the current version number is the 16.0.3 and the latest one is the 16.3.1 which means we need to update our minor you can see so this is a minor uh, change this is a minor version change for this package and if i come here for the last one you can see this is a major version change so the current version is 4.9.4 and we need 5.2.2 which means this is a major version change you can see to update our package we need to run npm update so this uh, this command npm update will actually change my patch version changes and the minor version change so it will not update my major version change so it will do only the patch like this one and this one so it will not update my major so we will get to that later but before we run this uh, command we need to say dash dash save true so what it will do is it will actually update my package.json as well so once we hit that for a minute so once we are done with that you will see some of the changes in my package.json so like my env and uh, some of the packages so which means all the patch version change and the minor version change are done so now if i run npm outdated there will be only major version changes like this one is major this one is major version change and this one also a major version change so all the patch and the minor are already done so we need to update our major version now so in this point whenever you are done with minor and the patch changes in this point you can actually do a commit to the git so like git commit git, first of all git add package.json and git commit update package so you can do that uh, this is a good practice um, whenever you are done with any kind of update you can actually uh, do a commit so that if anything goes wrong uh, in the update process you can actually roll back to this point so i will not do that but it is a good practice um, because i'm just recording this so once we are done here what i will do is i will actually go ahead for my major updates so one more time let me check my major uh, 
major updates so like these three packages needs major updates so let's start one by one so this is also another good practice whenever it is a major update you you should actually update one by one because this major uh, update means uh, there might be some breaking changes which can cause your uh, project uh, which can break your project i mean uh, so be careful about that so whenever you are doing any kind of major version update go ahead and check the change log of this package so if there is any kind of breaking change just read those and whenever you are you will update this package you need to be prepared about these breaking changes so first of all let's go ahead one by one and let's update the first one so you can say npm install and the first package name is the this one and after the package name you need to say at latest so what it will do is it will uh, it will install the latest version so which you can see here so for this one the latest version is this one or you can manually specify something like at 5.2.0 i do not want 3.0 i just want a 2.1 if you want to specify that you can do that but if you want directly the latest version you can just say latest so what it will do is it will go ahead and install the latest version right now you can see i have the latest version and it will update your package.json as well so in this point we just did a major version change maybe there are some uh, breaking change that i need to take care so in this point you can actually go ahead and check those uh, breaking change and fix those in your project so once you are done completely with this major change you can just commit to your git one more time with git add all or add package.json and git commit and something like that and you can commit after the major change is done for one package so and you need to continue with this process for all the major version package like this one and this one so i'll go ahead and quickly do that so i will just say npm install and the second package is the node one i believe and i am done with the nodeman latest version and you can see nodeman latest version is here and also i'll go ahead and install the typescript latest version and that's all i have also the typescript latest version so i am done with all the major version change here you can see so now if i try to npm install sorry npm install like that so if i try to npm install you will see there is no vulnerability and everything is fine and if i try to search for npm outdated package there should be no list for this because all the package are up to date right now so this is one way to update your packages using npm cli so we are not using any kind of third party package so now let me show you another way how you can actually do it in a better way i will say uh, using a third party package so the package name is uh, npm check updates so i will link it in the description so this is the package name and you can actually come here and install it globally with this command you can see so first of all let's actually install that globally i already installed that you can just run this command it will install it globally so once you are uh, done with installing it after that you can run ncu and it will give you the list of all the packages that needs update so i will just come here and run ncu and now i should see all the outdated packages here you can see so all this package needs updates and here you can see we have some colors so whenever you uh, if i come here in my github repo you can see so in the ncu github repository if you scroll down you will see about uh, these colors you can see so whenever you have red colors that means it's a major updates so from three to four it's a major and that's why it's a red color and whenever you have the cyan color like uh, this one it's a cyan color and which means it's a minor update like 16.0.0 from that we need to actually go to 16.8.4 so that's a minor version change so that's why 
it's a cyan color and if it's a green like this one for uh, so if it's a green like this one it's a patch update so that's what this color means and you can see we have a bunch of these and we have minor version change with the green color and the my sorry we have the patch version change with the green color and we have minor version change with the cyan color and we have the major version change with the red colors so here after that uh, once we are done with this so here what i like to do is i will actually follow a three step guide or i will do three step to do these updates with ncu so first of all i'll go ahead and do all the patch updates only and after that i will go and update my minor version changes and finally in the third step we will do the major version changes so let's do the patch version first of all so before we change anything in our package.json i would like to see the list of all the packages that need the update okay so to do that what i can do is i can say nco dash t for the target and our target is patch for now so if i hit that it will give me the list of all the packages and these packages are actually uh, having patch version change you can see so we need to do the patch version update for these packages and and now once we are actually happy with the package name and the versions what we can do is we can actually apply those changes in our package.json and for that what i can do is i can say ncu and after that dash u and after that dash t and the target is the minor sorry patch in this case so this dash u will apply our changes to this package.json and once we hit that now you can see in our package.json we have all the patch version changes you can see so these changes are the patch version change you can see here from here so once we have the changes in our package.json after that we can just install them so once we are done installing that which means we are done with our patch version changes in this point you can actually go ahead and add all the things git add all and git commit to your git so now i just uh, did a commit and it will have all my patch version changes so once again this is a good practice because if anything goes wrong in your uh, further changes you can roll back to this point so once we are done with the patch version change after that we will go to the minor version and we will do the same thing and see you first of all i want to see the list and for that i can say tag sorry uh, target and this is the minor and if i hit that i can see only one package that needs a minor version change this one from 16.0.3 to 16.3.1 so which means we are having the minor version change for this only one package so once we are having the list and we are happy with the list that i really want to actually update this package and now we can actually say ncu dash u for applying those in our package.json and dash t for target and in this case the target is the so in this case the target is the minor and if i hit that it will go ahead and update my package you can see so once we are done with the update now we can go ahead and commit to our git so once we are done with our minor version change finally we need to update our major version change so to get the list for our major version we do not have something like so we do not have this flag for the major so to get the major version uh, changes what you can do is you can run on the ncu at this point because so at this point uh, we are already done with our patch version changes and the minor version changes so which means the remaining package that we will see here here you will see so these three package are the remaining packages and these three package needs major version changes you can see so that's what i'm talking so 
once we are done with our patch and the miner so after that when you will run mcu only so you will see the remaining packages and these packages are actually having the major version changes okay so now we have the list for our major version change and after that you can do uh, you can actually update these three at once in your package.json so for that what you can do is you can say something like this it will update these three package at once like here we can see now after that you can install that uh, install these packages and you are done so this is what you can do if your uh, project is a small and you do not have that much backing changes or even if you have your backing changes that will not cost you uh, that much so in that case you can actually go ahead and uh, install all the three major version changes at once and after that you can fix the breaking changes obviously but the good way to do that or if your project is actually expensive so what you should do is you should update your major versions once at a time and for that you can say ncu dash u after that you can mention the name of the package like this and what it will do is it will actually update only that package like this one you can see we have our major version change and after that you can come here and install that and at this point you are only changing one major version change at a time and now you can go ahead and so after the installation complete you can go ahead and change your uh, code if there is any kind of breaking change you can fix those so once you are done with your code you can just commit so git add all and git commit for now let's do this so once you are done with your commit you are done with your one major change and after that we have also two more i guess and we need to do the same thing for these two package we will go one by one and after that we will install and after that we will see any kind of breaking changes available or not and that's all and for now here i will just update it because i know this is a demo project and i know there will be no breaking changes and i can install all the breaking i mean i can install these two together so once we are done with this i can hit ncu and there will be no package you can see all the dependencies uh, match the latest package versions which is which is actually a good thing and you can also run npm uh, outdated and you can see there is no package list so which means our repository is up to date and all the package here we have is actually having the latest version so that's all you can see so that's how you can actually update your packages and we just saw two different ways to do that and which one you should use it is up to you but if you ask me i will actually uh, i will use ncu i guess because uh, in ncu you can actually update your uh, patch versions separately and after that you can update your minor versions separately and you can have your uh, git log whenever you are actually doing that so yeah so npm cli uh, i mean the npm upgrade uh, command that we saw uh, in the beginning of the video that could be a option whenever you do not want to actually install a third party package like ncu and you just want to do it uh, with npm cli you can actually do it that and that is totally fine and that's all for this video i guess you just got a complete understanding how you can update your npm packages so that's all i will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye and kodafis